look, it's still the best thing going. I had the, um, some of you know my background's in the sport of wrestling, and about almost 30 years ago now, because of the sport of wrestling, I was able to travel to some places you normally don't get to go to. Uh, 1987, in the winter, I was in what was then the Soviet Union. And I tell people all the time, you go to places like that, you thank the good Lord you get to live here, and that you were born in the greatest country ever. I was, I was in Moscow, I tell you, I was in Moscow in February. Moscow in February, it's like 400 below zero. You know? <laughs> and the food was terrible. You really thank the good Lord. I was in Gabez, Cuba in 1988, 1990. And uh, Cuba is a warm Soviet Union, what it is. It's, uh, I, I said before, Cuba is Gilligan's Island with terrible food. That's what it reminded me of. So you go to places like that, you thank the Lord that you got to be born and live in, in the United States of America. But we're at a serious time. Um, I shared this with some of you maybe before. I had breakfast with um, Pat Cadell a few months ago. Pat's actually a Democrat. Started in 1972 with the McGovern campaign. Uh, and you're wondering, what's your guy, your congressman doing hanging out with, with Pat Cadell? But he had given a speech about a year ago that I read speech to a conservative forum, and he uh, said some things in there I thought made sense, some of the surveys and polling and things he's doing. So called him up, we had breakfast, and he said a few things to me that stuck with me. Uh, the one he said, just some numbers he's finding in his polling. You know this, you can see it, you can sense it, you can feel it. He said 70, 60, 80. 70% 70 of the country thinks America's in decline. 60% say I'm better off than my parents, but my kids are going to be worse off than me. And 80% think that Washington's completely rigged against them. Rigged against them as a middle class, regular small business owner, middle class family. Washington's rigged against them. And the reason 80% think that, you know why? Because it's true. It's true. Washington unfortunately exists way too much to serve the needs of the folks in Washington and some of the big corporate interests with all the lobbyists and all the consultants at the expense of regular people. You all know the fact that six of the wealthiest, uh, 10 wealthiest counties, you know where they're located? Six of the wealthiest, 10 wealthiest counties in the country, you know where they're located? Yeah, right around, right around D.C. It's, true, it's truly the Hunger Games. And we actually formed a group this past, uh, this Congress, uh, called the House Freedom Caucus, and our mission is real simple, to stand up for the countless number of Americans who think Washington's forgotten. Our job is to remember them and fight for them, even sometimes when it means taking on our own party, which you don't like to do, but frankly, sometimes you have to do. And we're serious about that. The other thing uh, Pat said that stuck with me was, he said, in 10 years, if we keep doing all the stupid things we're doing, in 10 years, there will still be a United States, but there may not be an America. Now think about that. <coughs> think about that one word, America, and everything we associate with America. Greatest country ever, Constitution, Declaration of Independence, rights, liberties, principles, values, the thing, all that we've set in goals, working hard, and being able to accomplish those things, and, and better standard of living for our kids, and this generation <laughs> sacrifice so the next generation can have life better than they do it. Everything we associate with that word, that's at stake. And so we're at a time where we gotta get back to the basics. There are lots of policy changes we need to make. You all know this, you're all business and successful. The tax code's ridiculous, needs to be thrown out, we need to start over. Obamacare's killing, driving up the cost, hurting our economic growth, it's wrong, it needs to be thrown out and replaced. Regulatory burdens way too high. Certain values that we always took for granted are now being attacked. <coughs> Frankly, even our fundamental liberties, like your right to practice your faith the way you think the good Lord wants you to, is, is going to be, I think, under siege pretty soon if we don't watch it. 